for Squid Game 2. Sequel confirm. Ketika diwawancara oleh Associated Press, Huang Donghyu, pencipta siri TV Squid Game telah mengesahkan bahawa dia sedang di dalam perancangan untuk menulis dan mengarah sequel bagi siri popular di Netflix ini. So Huang mengatakan, there's been so much pressure, so much demand and so much love for a second season. So I almost feel like you leave us no choice. There will indeed be a second season. It's in my head right now. I'm in the planning process currently. I do think it's too early to say when and how that's going to happen. So I will promise you this. Gihun will come back. He will do something for the world. Jadi, apakah pendapat anda tentang berita ini serta the fact that season 2 will focus on Gihun again? Oh, Squid Game. Series kesayangan aku setakat ini, series yang masih dalam kepala otak aku which hmm. I think I'm still thinking about how neatly done uh, this uh, show is. Uh, sometimes when you do this uh, movies ke, TV series ke, cartoon ke, anime, you want it to linger around, you know. You know, sometimes, you know, uh, for me, TV series, sitcom, macam Friends still lingers around. I still watch, you know, uh, apa ni, some anime properties, you know, still lingers around. Even Squid Game, dia punya effect to me is still, aku still linger around. And I'm so looking forward to the sequel sebab I think uh, Gihong is going to come back and become the front man. Wow. Yeah. The front man? Gila, he dar. Will be, he will become the front man and then the cycle will uh, begin all over again. They will call all new people and you have a new hero. Dia di Brazil aku lah. You know? Would you oh, have preferred it to not be a Gihun sequel? Maksudnya, would it have been better kalau it was a prequel? Ataupun like Squid Game Brazil? Ataupun Squid Game India? Aku nak tengok I orang have, Korea kena bunuh dalam Squid I, Game India. I would have preferred the same structures of the script because you know you you don't mess what you already have there will certainly be more clues that we don't see i think it's going to take place also on the island but with different games games yang kita tak tahu ya yeah, tapi maksudnya macam kita dah tahu the background of squid game korea so kalau kita nampak gihun pergi balik it's like what's what's new what's going to catch the audience you know i just thought of something Squid Game in the real world, not on the island. Macam, alah, kau tengok Westworld lah. Siapa tengok Westworld kat sini? Aku tengok Westworld. Westworld kan kau dalam dunia rekaan yang semata-mata, tapi bila kau keluar dekat dunia reality, kau tak tahu whether it's reality. Hmm, kau tapi that's where Westworld went flat dalam season 3. Bila, pasal tiba-tiba dia jadi cyberpunk lah. Lepas tu dia dah, dia bukan tema cowboy, dia bukan tema alternate reality. You know, a, a world within a world, dia dah jadi tak fun. So my fear is Squid Game 2 akan fail because kita dah tahu how Squid Game is. Dia dah start daripada tahun 1990 something. So what's going to be different? Itu Itulah, itu satu fear aku lah as a viewer sebenarnya. Uh, I think, personally, I think it will be a fresh story. I will go against you on this, huh? sorry. Huh? I will go against you on this. Uh, I think it will be a new story with uh, new players, different games, but he edits the story differently. Um, maybe in a sense where, well, my theory is Gi Hong is going to be the front man. Uh, however, I'm a big believer if it's not broken, don't fix it, you know. So if, hmm. if you have a nice formula that's already working, not only uh, creatively, artistically, even economically, the money and everything, you know. Hmm. Uh, Squid Game seems to be like a perfect storm, you know, perfect storm where creatively orang suka, artistically orang suka, emotionally pun orang suka. Uh, Numbers-wise, you know, in terms of the most watched uh, series on uh, Netflix, pun orang suka. So, it all kinds of come to, it all came together lah, which is, which, which, which is I think, uh, the director would repeat the same formula again. But it's just that we don't know how it's going to do. Mm. Uh, bam, 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 bam. Thinking from a director's point of view, because I, the moment if I want to stray away from what 
is so successful for season one, you risk the you you akan risk the chance of gagal. Apa maksud aku? If you try to do yeah. something completely new on what you already established for season one. Okay. okay, okay. I I if I was the director and I was the director, I don't want to risk the gagal. Sebab orang dah suka the first one, so I will I will give more or less the same one like the first one. Tapi aku pandai tweak sampai korang kena berfikir. Because I think he's very smart in doing that. Okay. Uh, adakah kau setuju dengan komen Munif ni yang mengatakan the frontman we know in Squid Game 1 was a Squid Game champion. Jadi adakah season 2 nanti will show the birth of the new frontman via the current champion, Gihun? That, Is that uh, the dark Brazil. destiny? Yeah. That's my theory Brazil lah. It wow. Because, because to be, Squid Game in a sense represents life you know life life is a cycle you know we we are born we grow up become parents our parents die then we become grandparents we have kids and we grow up again again much of star wars lah star wars you see is is always a cycle you know so squid game your story to me life represents a cycle so the cycle i think will happen where giun return and dia jadi frontman yes i dengan munif malik boleh kancing i agree And then kemudian kita ada Muhammad Hazim yang mengatakan Teori Malaysia, Squid Game 2 ni perjalanan Gihun akan jadi akan join ke Squid Game US untuk selamatkan ex-wife dan suaminya dalam permainan Squid Game. Wow. A little bit far-fetched. Is, uh, this is not far-fetched actually. This is quite a good theory. I like I like Hazim punya theory. Uh, but I just harap they, they, US jangan sentuh Squid Game. I think it's going to be this. You know? Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, one, uh, hello, hello, one, hi. Yeah, can you hear me? Yeah, boleh hello? tak kau ke taman? Kalau kau ke taman lagi sikit ambient noise. Taman, okay, okay. Yeah. Okay, taman. so apa berapa okay. kau okay. tentang berita bahawa Squid Game sequel is now confirmed eh? Dan ia akan be about <laughs> Gihun. Of all things, Gihun. Kita dah tengok Gihun dah jadi champion lah. Okay, silakan. Apa pendapat kau? Uh, pada pendapat aku, I think aku dah pernah tengok bedah pasport dulu yang aku tak ada tu. Korang bagi benda yang bagus tau. Sebab kalau kalau sequel, korang nak sama cerita Gihun balik. Rasa macam apa dia nak buat. Sebab cerita tu tak akan cerita pasal squid game permainan tu tau. Orang tengok cerita tu pasal permainan. Kalau tak silap akulah. Bukannya jenis dia nak menyelamatkan apa. Apa yeah. macam mana dia nak lawan organisasi tu. So dia dah hilang magic tau. Kalau cerita tu dia nak buat macam... Uh, macam apa cerita and bukan cerita antologi macam cerita macam add on je boleh tapi i think people prefer about maybe squid game macam apa kalau squid game kat Australia ke squid game ada dekat US ke macam ni cara dia buat uh, bagi tu tu lagi baguslah sebab dia nanti jadi perspektif lain tau daripada kita dulu perspektif peserta tengok main squid game tu sekarang kita jadi perspektif penyelamat jadi macam perspektif polis yang dalam squid game nombor yes. satu tu which is nampak lain yes. ha So aku dapat rasakan mungkin kalau dia guna Brain Squid Game dia akan jadi lain. Lebih baik dia buat macam antologi series yang lain bukan antologi lah macam aku macam side story lain uh, Gihun punya adventure. Gila, ha, gila. Tapi ha. macam mana Gihun orang berapa aku kalau Gihun nak selamatkan dia daripada Squid Game Gihun nak masuk balik kau rasa orang orang mas tu akan bagi ke dia masuk balik? Jadi bodoh macam dia main game balik tapi dia nak selamatkan. Tapi lepas tu dia buatkan cycle tu jadi jadi benda yang sama balik. Kan? kau participate in the game balik then kau bukan nak selamatkan so dia akan jadi cara macam mana dia nak selamatkan dia guna cara luar which is dia jadi macam detective game lah pula kan yeah. bukan script game so yeah. I'm a bit macam tak tahulah sebab kita tengok train to Busan yang nombor satu aku bagi example lah oh best gila ada ma dia onsok apa semua sekali boleh perspektif dan lain kau buat train to Busan kedua kau jadi macam uh, apa kau buat ni dah lah lepas tu buat tak banyak practical effect Yes. So, aku harap dia tak jadi macam uh, apa tu, kalau dia nak buat ni lah, sequel maybe handle dengan bagus lah, walaupun aku pun tak setuju kalau ada sequel berdasarkan Gip pun uh, Yeah, I, I think it's, it's kind of be weird lah, dia akan flop lah, dapat aku sebab orang nak tengok game tu sebut bukan nak tengok Gihun, memang ada orang nak tengok Gihun, tapi lepas tu kan nanti mesti orang menyesal, alah, kita dia tak macam apa kita expect lah Yes, pasal kita so, perlukan the tension of the game tu 
yang komatik yeah, di kontrol ke tiga. alliances and stuff like that. Betul, betul. betul. Yes. So, so yeah. pada pendapat aku, aku ada cakap dulu. Habis, habis, habis. Okay. Okay, uh, okay, bagi pendapat aku, ya yeah, kalau boleh buat cerita pasal negara lain pula lah. Kau dah tease pasal negara lain lah. Kau tak negara lain pula. Ataupun kau buat prequel lah macam mana Mamat Masman tu jadi ni. Jadi jadi Masman tu. Lagi bagus. Kalau pasal Gihun, kau buat side story lah. Kau buat dengan Netflix. Okay, I want, I want dua. Satu sequel pasal cerita game-game yang lain. Satu je side story Gihun macam ni Gihun masuk. Dan kau buat kau wavekan balik dalam series yang 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 the main sequel tu. Gihun masuk. Dia pula jadi polis sikit-sikit. Tapi cerita uh, dia punya siasatan banyak-banyak dekat luar. Kita dia punya series. Gihun series. Ha, then I think okay, okay lah. Ag- agak mahal agak nak buat sebab kau buat dua, dua cerita kan. Tapi I think it's good lah. Kau puas hati dua-dua belah pihak. Nak game boleh, lepas tu kau tak cerita Gihun. Nak, macam mana dia siasat, macam mana dia align dengan polis-polis luar, macam mana nak infiltrate. Oh government ni buat macam ni. Eh. Ha, macam mana. It's good lah kalau buat macam tu. Just my opinion lah. Nah, tu je. What? What I feel is going to happen in season 2 lah, you know. Uh, katakan 8 episod lah. If I, if I want to complete this, Gihun uh, balik, tries to rescue, kadang-kadang berjaya, kadang-kadang tak berjaya. Tapi bila towards the end, something was so compelling that he became the frontman. Oh, gila lah. So, dia jadi hero-hero-hero, pop, last dari jahat. Oh, dramatik sikit. Oh, gila, 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 gila. I like oh, that, I like that, I like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Guy. We know he's a hero. Pop, 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 pop. But somehow the last two episodes, the tweets. Uh, yes. I have to, I have to be the front man. I've got to be the front man. I got no choice but to be the front man. But we don't know apa faktor yang buat dia switch. Hmm. Hmm. And that is what the sequel will be. I think, yeah, kalau dia orang buat macam tu, the twist, uh, I think it'll be interesting lah. Because we know the ending of season one, he's you you put him on the hero level. I'm going back mm. to be the hero, you know. But you know, there's that that's a detail with which we that uh the front man, the previous winner, and he was there for five years. You know, 2015 he was winner. You know, 2020 mm. was this quick game. So why was the front man there for five years? There has to be something compelling for him to stay there for five years. Is it just a job? Is it just uh, someone hold the wife hostage? So, maybe, apa? No. maybe. Betul, uh, betul. We don't know, we don't know. You know? But why someone buat benda jahat lima tahun berturut-turut? Why would someone buat benda jahat lima tahun berturut-turut? Sedangkan so, kau dah champion, kau dah menang juta-juta, you don't need to work anymore. You need to so work anymore. why are you the front man? Why yeah. are you staying there for five years? Why are you doing something jahat for five years? That one was so compelling to me. So what I feel with Gihon, I repeat again. Is the ballet jari hero jari hero he wants to this one eh? kita nampak dia ada rintangan but the last it, i have to be frontman and also i think the actor who played the first frontman lee lee uh, lee byung hoon yeah lee byung hoon he's a big star so they probably ada job lain kot takkan dia nak buat yes man storm shadow <laughs> daripada gi jo Uh, okay, kita ada satu komen menarik ya daripada penonton di rumah. Nazmi Ali bertanya, agak-agak panelis, Hollywood akan buat reboot ke untuk series Squid Game ni, untuk versi Hollywood? Uh, terima kasih kepada Netflix. Benda ni dah popular di 90 negara di seluruh dunia. Diorang dah bagi dub dalam bahasa Inggeris dah. So, tak payahlah untuk orang-orang kulit putih yang bodoh, malas nak baca subs ni. Diorang dah tengok dah bro. So, there is no reason kau kena buat Squid Game dengan orang kulit putih untuk uh, untuk apa market US because benda ni dah berjaya pun dekat US and walaupun dia orang malas baca subs dia orang still ada dubs yang sampah but still they got it they loved it to the point that Netflix minta nombor 2 uh, pendapat korang do you think Hollywood will reboot this uh, i mean this is a Netflix IP there is no reason for them to recast everybody with white people uh fairly silly don't 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 you know even 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 uh, the Korean best picture winner parasite There's a TV series in development at, at HBO. So, tolonglah, janganlah. I'm really scared for that. Just... Yeah, I think Parasite HBO Max is going to be suck balls, man. Suck ah, balls. Uh, one, pendapat kau? Squid Game, white people version. <laughs> no, please don't. Sebab aku, sebab, kau kata tengok, white people pun enjoy the Korean punya version, kan? Kau bayangkan yes. kalau dia orang Americanize benda tu. So, it's going to be like, fucked up, first of all. Yeah. Sebab, Uh, kau tak dapat feel benda tersebut and then white people, pendapat aku lah white people nak main game apa, apa tradisional game diorang 
hide and seek Game mabuk hmm, lah, lah. Baling, then, bola, baling bola yang dekat oh, Game mabuk, uh, kau mabuk yang kena tembak oh. <laughs> uh, I mean uh, Dia rasa pelik lah Rasa pelik lah bila dia American nice guard Dia sama juga macam Kalau orang Jepun apa uh, Cerita-cerita orang putih Kau tu kau nak Jepun nice pun akan jadi pelik Bagi pendapat aku So kalau squid game Kalau kau nak American nice pun jadi pelik So if you want to do a Hollywood punya uh, Bukan Hollywood, I mean maksud aku Squid game America US punya ni dia kena ada Korean punya 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 touch jugalah. Macam dia kata oh, in the same universe bukan reboot tapi kau nak tengok apa jadi kalau Squid Game ni dekat US. Ah macam mana akan jadi? But I don't want it to be reboot and become all white people. Comment series sebab tu kau dapat salah kau kena tembak. Comment beer pong kau dapat salah kau kena tembak. Flip cup hancur. Tak tak, comment rasa roulette. Rasa roulette bro. Oh rasa roulette tu betul betul. Tak payah tembak pun. Semua tengah tengah cing ah. Yeah. Okay guys, so yeah, bagi tu... dona, dona, dona ribut, dona ribut. Nanti yeah, jadi idea. jadi pelik. Yeah, <laughs> betul betul. It's a bad fucking idea. Oh, <laughs> a bad fucking idea. Dengar, oh, bad fucking idea. Bu <laughs> director, abang, abang, abang Ferry dah buka kata. Ini bukan abang Ferry sini, abang Kevin tadi ya. Ada marah. Kevin terus. Kevin terus. <laughs> Kenapa PR huh? kita dia terlampau work Abang Kevin? Kita <laughs> buat ini Official Kevin Faye cosplayer, okay? Don't mess Okay, right? okay, wow <laughs> Okay, okay Sekiranya anda enjoy menonton video ini Jangan lupa untuk like, share dan subscribe kepada Buzz Pop TV Untuk lebih banyak video-video yang berkaitan dengan pop culture Daripada komik, TV, filem, mainan dan juga banyak lagi. Majulah fandom untuk negara.